split second. That's all it took to alter Sergeant Mark Bustamante's life. In December, the Pima County Sheriff's supervisor lost his eye during a traffic arrest of a woman suspected of drug driving. In a story you'll see only on nine, Sergeant Bustamante speaks out about his injury for the first time since that traffic stop. Nine in your sides, Valerie Cavazos has the story. It was a reflection Sergeant Mark Bustamante saw on the window of a deputy's car that revealed how badly he was hurt, the reason he had to cover his eye that night. I just saw um, a deformity to my eye that I wasn't used to. The eye gone now, replaced with a temporary plastic shell. The 22-year veteran is now on light duty at the Pima County Sheriff's Department, still as the traffic investigation supervisor, who at times works on DUI task forces, as he did that night. Sergeant Bustamante cannot talk about the events that led up to the injury while the case is being investigated, but we obtained Sheriff Department reports about what happened that night. Records show at a quarter to midnight on December 9th, a DOI task force deputy saw Yesenia Gonzalez speeding down Alvernon from Ajo through Irvington, going 71 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone, making numerous unsafe lane changes while cutting off vehicles. The deputy pulled Gonzalez over and reported she not only appeared drunk, her alcohol level two and a half times the legal limit, she was antagonistic and resisted arrest. Sergeant Bustamante showed up as backup. Both tried to lift her up and put her in the back seat of the deputy's SUV. But Gonzalez started kicking. She was wearing these nearly four-inch heels. Bustamante reported he held onto her legs, but at one point she stopped fighting him, so he relaxed, leaned down, and then she suddenly kicked him in the face. The other deputy reported he heard Bustamante cry out in pain or agony. I felt the most excruciating pain I ever felt in my life. Um, I was still conscious, but I felt every moment of pain that that kick produced. Bustamante covered his left eye while he grabbed her legs until he knew she was secured. Deputies reported there appeared to be a lot of blood coming from in between his fingers. They called for paramedics. Did you think you were going to lose your eye? The minute she kicked me, I knew I lost my eye. It was that hard. The kick was that hard and that precise. And Bustamante knew then it was a life altering moment and questions swirled through his mind. How bad is my injury? Um, what is my future? How am I gonna provide for my family? And he braced for what he had to tell his wife and children that night. I had to reassure him that I was fine that I was not going to die, and that I, I am okay. How is your family coping now? They're doing fine. Um, <clears throat> they get a lot of compliments, and they get a lot of um, questions regarding my health and my future. Because Bustamante is in a supervisory role, he returned to continue his work, but with one change. I am not uh, making traffic stops. I am not in uniform. He says he's not sure if the loss of an eye will prevent advancement in the department. Sheriff Mark Napier says this type of injury is less likely to be career changing, but it is life altering and injuries to law enforcement officers happen more often than the public thinks. It does happen. And if the public were just a little bit more aware of the dangers we face and that it's not always the most dramatic thing, they'll make the media, but this is a daily occurrence. But Bustamante wants to remind the public that what happened during that traffic arrest could have been avoided. I want the community to know that uh, we have a problem in the community, and that is impaired driving. And that it is a 100% preventable crime. These incidents affect everybody in some way. Sergeant Bustamante says he's meeting with an eye doctor at the end of the month to work on getting a prosthetic eye. Valerie Cavazos, Kega 9 on your side.